Hey guys, welcome to my new video and today I'm going to show you how to make an ashtray. I've seen someone using boolean to make the holes, the ones where the cigarette is supposed to be put, but I personally don't like that way and I'm going to show you why real quick. So let's get to it. We're going to need a cylinder for the actual ashtray. And I'm not going to bother with the dimensions, I'm just going to put the sides up something like 60 maybe and uh, now we're going to convert it to editable poly we're going to select the polygon mode turn on edge faces and we're going to use the inset tool to actually make the thickness of the ashtray so now, now I'm going to extrude this polygon but in negative, let's say, it, it does not really matter now, because this is only just to show you why I don't like the boolean option. And so, now we're going to make use the inset tool again, just to give it an edge. And that would be good. Now, also on this polygon, use the inset, only once. And I think that's about okay. I'm just going to quick use the swift loop tool to make two edges right here and that's good and now in the left viewport I'm going to make another cylinder something like this uh, something like this and uh, I'm going to move it a bit like somewhere right here just to show you, and I'm going to do only one hole just to show you uh, why I really don't like using boolean for making an ashtray. Now boolean is very good tool. We go into compound objects right here, select boolean. Under the boolean parameters uh, tab we select add operands. We add this cylinder and then we subtract this. Click subtract. Now we have the the hole for the cigarette but when we go and change this uh, the cylinder to editable poly again and uh, we apply the turbo smoothing uh, the turbo smoothing modifier we get something that looks like this so the edges here are a mess and uh, this is quite hard to fix right now you see see the difference now if if we let me go ahead and just render it let's say if we leave it like this this will be a, a very very messy cigarette actually uh, ashtray I'm sorry very very messy ashtray uh, with very messy cigarette holders so I'm just gonna go ahead and reset 3ds max and I'm going to show you my way of doing the actual ashtray so we're going to do a cylinder again I'm going to give it a radius of 5 centimeters and height of uh, 3 centimeters now let's see how that looks that that looks pretty good but now we need to give it some segments so we're going to use to make actually 10 height segments something like that let me zoom in right here and on the front viewport because we're going to actually be using the front and the left viewport more than the other two viewports so now I would like to give it sides somewhere about let's see 90 and now let's just move it right in the center and zoom in so now you see I'm going to need this uh, line this grid line right here because in the left viewport I got a perfect match right here but I also need to have the match 
right in the front viewport. So I'm going to give ah, 92. So that's good. That's good. So and now we will start to model our our ashtray. Now again, we start from scratch and we're going to convert it to editable poly and use the polygon mode. On the top polygon, we're going to use the insert tool. Now, what I like to do is uh, use the insert tool first at 0 0.2 centimeters. Sorry, 0 0.2 is plus 0 0.5 centimeters the second time just to make the edges good that's good plus and 0 0.1 so I got the thickness now and uh, we're going to extrude it so it's the same way as before but now I'm going to do exact measures so Let's give it extrusion to the first line, to the first uh, actually height segment of the cylinder. So let's see somewhere like that. So 0 minus 0 0.3. And we're going to add that, I don't know, maybe let's say 7 times. So we have 1, 2, 3, four five six seven eight times and go ahead and check that so we have these edges now actually uh, this uh, we have the lines here so now this edge would be perfect when we finalize our our object our creation so now we're going to insert 0 0.2 again and uh, go ahead and check that just make you should make sure you insert two times and now it's about done on the upside now we're going to do the down the bottom side so you make insert 0 0.2 and that's about it so now what we have to do is work with the vertices so we're going to set our uh, selection on the vertices on the vertex mode and we're going to count one two three four five vertices I'm going to grab them also in the front viewport by holding control you're going to drag and count one two three four five vertices so now when I actually move them they would move together and this is what we get for a start you see so now we're going to get these four vertices and in the left one two three four vertices again drag them down something like this then we're going to get three vertices in the left viewport again three vertices drag them down something like this so now we have one two three four vertices on the bottom now select the two remaining vertices and don't forget to select them also by holding control on the on the front viewport on both viewports uh, viewports actually and drag down something like this and now I'm going to leave the last uh, vertice the last vertex to be just where it is so let's see I want it to be that deep I definitely want it to be that deep so now we have to work with these and also these vertices so we have one two three four five row five in a row now we go in the left viewport one two three four five one two three four five and now we drag them 
somewhere like this a bit down something like that now we go select the four vertices right here the four right here actually they are not four they are more they are like 80 vertices but I call them four rows of vertices actually so drag that down and we continue by manipulating the vertices on the same principle that we used before so something like this and now I think we'll do this one more time with these two remaining rows of vertices and something like this and now let's see I think that is good so deselect the, ver vertex, uh, the vertex selection and go ahead and try oops I'm sorry go ahead and try to add the turbo smooth modifier right now the iteration I'd like to set them to 3 turn off edge faces and here we have our actual and last product so now you can see how smooth it is and that's very very different from when we used boolean and that's why I really like this uh, this way of doing this so now let's go ahead and add some material to it let's see now what we can do so we're gonna add physical material right here I'm going to name that ash tray and I'm going to use a preset called frosted glass for physical items so the frosted glass for solid objects blurs and scatters lights inside the object so I'm going to use frosted glass for this one material mode I'm going to set on advanced and let me just drag this make it a bit bigger so now let's see now we have actually this material for our ashtray but I don't like that I want it to be something darker I want, I want it actually to be a black ashtray so we're going to give the reflections something not so white as it was the transparency now let's see I'm going to get the transparency not too black but something some, somewhere right there also the surface scattering I'm going to set that black okay now the reflections if I set the reflections to 1.0 they are going to be a hell of a lot uh, a hell lot of reflections so now I actually want to get them down somewhere to maybe 0.2 let's say and we're going to try that the transparency somewhere to 0.7 and uh, let's go into here and set the base color on solid black so now I'm going to go ahead and render this but I'm going to render it on the smallest picture like 320 to by uh, 240 and oops I'm sorry I didn't assign the material and now I'm going to go ahead and render that now because the ashtray is black and also this uh, the background is black you're not going to be able to see anything so I'm going to change the background color something to grayish whitish gray something like this and we're going to render now
So let's see how our ashtray actually looks. If it's, I don't know if it's the way I like it, but I've, I've actually done this before, so I have it in my mind, something like that. So, uh, okay, now let's go ahead and render that in this uh, in uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 resolution and go ahead and render that so this is the final result we've got you can see the smoothness in this ashtray now and uh, that's actually why I choose vertex manipulation over boolean I don't mean to say that boolean is a bad tool at all I just don't prefer it using to make an ashtray so I hope you enjoyed the video go ahead and like comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time